Hello there everyone at the West Cork Literary Festival. Um, it's all online this year, so uh, instead of me being there talking to you in a big room, we're all in little rooms. Uh, and this is my little room, my office, um, where I do most of my writing uh, these days. And the latest thing uh, that I wrote and that's been released is um, The Foul Twins Denial Charges uh, by me, Owen Colfer. And in this book, uh, the twins uh, borrow the Fowl family jet, as we can see there, but also they don't tell their dad or mum, and the jet gets blown up, as we can look at this missile that's following them. So uh, they got they escape with their lives, but they're in big trouble at home, and there's new rules put down uh, by dad and mum, and the first rule is no more fairy friends. You just cannot keep hanging out with the fairies because every time you do there's something usually blows up and in this case it was a very expensive jet which costs tens of millions of euro to develop because it was uh, experimental now that's not so bad for miles because he's not planning to follow the rules anyway he always breaks the rules but Beckett is more of a straightforward guy and he's very upset. And the reason is he's got a fairy friend uh, and he is no longer allowed to hang out with his friend. And that's really a tough thing to happen. So uh, he has to go and tell his friend um, that he can't hang out with him anymore. And his friend is quite, he's not the normal friend. He's a little troll. He's about eight inches high. He's called a toy troll. But he's not a toy he's very very real uh, and his name is whistleblower uh, and so Beckett goes down to whistleblower's feeding rock where he feeds and he has to break the news to him that they're not allowed to hang out anymore uh, and when whistleblower hears this he fills in on what he calls the parting ritual and this is this thing that trolls do when they're leaving uh, their friend they have a ritual like we just wave goodbye and maybe hug but they have a very uh sacred ritual that they like to do and we're going to hear about that ritual now it's a little bit uh what humans would call disgusting but it's cultural uh, so don't be disgusted it's troll culture okay so here we go the parting ritual beckett and whistleblower sat in miserable silence for a few moments both slightly afraid of how the troll might react after all it was conceivable that he might lose control of himself in the manner of trolls and throw a massive destructive tantrum but whistleblower did not go on a scything spree instead he offered the kernel of a plan to beckett miles your brother might be a dope said whistleblower but he likes problems stupid problems like this one Beckett cheered up immediately. That's right. Miles will find a way around this. He loves figuring things out. Even if he can't fight, said Whistleblower. He can fight, said Miles. He fi said Beckett, he fights with his brain. Whistleblower countered this. You can't fight with a brain, Beckett. I tried that with a sheep's brain. It exploded on impact. This was a convincing argument. Brains are squishy, conceded Beckett. But even so... Miles will crack this thing and we'll be back together soon. Whistleblower did his version of a thoughtful nod, which was an extended growl. Very well, human friend, he said at last. I will leave, but before I go, we must complete the parting ritual as a sign of mutual respect. The toy troll jumped onto his feeding rock and turned his back to Beckett and stood on one leg. Beckett thought he should at least make an attempt to interpret the more than likely noble symbolism of this stance. I see, he said. Showing me your back means you are leaving, but raising one foot means that you are always ready to return. Is that the parting ritual? I bet it is. No, completely wrong, said the troll. When friends part, we allow our winds to mingle. The blend of particles unites us forever. It is very powerful troll magic. Beckett had thought his friend couldn't possibly get any more awesome, but the parting ritual smashed the troll's previous record. Are you saying that we fart at each other to seal the bond of friendship? 
That is what I am saying, confirmed Whistleblower. The mingling of the winds. Beckett felt his eyes cheering up, and they hadn't even begun the ritual. You are the best and coolest friend I will ever have. I know, said Whistleblower. Now turn your back, and I will say the sacred words, and then we shall expel wind in each other's general direction. And remember, do not turn around until the winds disperse. Beckett did what he was told and tried not to sniffle, as Whistleblower was being all stoic about their parting. Whistleblower sent a howl echoing over the flat, calm ocean and then recited the sacred verse. Warrior both loyal and true, the gift of wind I give to you. The particles inside my tum, I blow your way from out my bum. Now that is a poem, thought Beckett, and then he stopped thinking as there issued forth from Whistleblower's person a sustained noise that should not have been possible from a colon of the troll's dimensions. The closest auditory equivalent Beckett could think of was a trombone being played underwater, something he had actually tried. A dense cloud of rank air enveloped Beckett, and he knew that he would have to burn his clothing in the garden bonfire on the way back to the house and possibly exfoliate himself in the shower. Well played, old friend, he thought. Only one thing left to do. Beckett Fowl took a breath, stood on one leg and farted through his tears. And when he turned around, Whistleblower was gone. So that is uh, the story of the parting ritual. And I urge you to find a parting ritual, mate, and go and try that at a distance of two meters immediately or as soon as possible, but probably not inside the house. So that's it for me. I hope it's been educational. Uh, I hope you've learned something about the culture of trolls and something you can take with you uh, for the rest of your life. And... um, enjoy over the Christmas holidays. So have a great holiday, Uh, stay safe, stay in touch uh, and keep reading.